I originally was not going to post this video, or rather I wasn't going to post the video that I, that I filmed. Basically, I wanted to film one video and it ended up being something completely different, something that is slightly embarrassing for me, the hair girl. That being said, you guys told me to go ahead and post it. Hopefully, you know, they, you guys can learn from it just as much as I learned from my mistake. And so that is this video. This video is me explaining how to ruin a wig or how not to take care of a wig because that's that's what I did. Today we're going to bleach things. So I'm actually going to be bleaching a wig. This one. I'm going to be taking this uh, hair color and hopefully going through the entire process, the entire staging of going dark to light. So obviously I encourage you guys to do a lot of crazy things to wigs. Wigs are fun, they're really, really incredible. They are a second head of hair instead of experimenting on yourself. You can experiment on a wig. However, I also know that wigs very often come with a significant price tag. And obviously the last thing you would want to do is to ruin your wig that cost you 300 and upwards dollars. Let's get straight into this video on how to absolutely screw up your wig. So last week I was trying to film a video of how to bleach dark hair to light, how to get it platinum. Obviously my hair is not dark and also in no means to be bleached, I decided to opt for using a wig. Okay, let me mix up the bleaching formula and then get back to you with the product. It was simply a how to bleach dark hair video. The wig was just my second hit. I went ahead and I mixed up the first bleaching concoction the first time, I applied it all over the wig. So I went ahead and I bleached it and the first time that I bleached it, it obviously turned that very, very flattering color of orange, that is what every dark head of hair does. So I knew it was gonna happen and I prepared for it and I was ready to bleach it again. At this point the wig was fine, the wig was okay, it was not like shedding, it was not breaking, um, it was a wig. I dried it, I put it on, styled it, it looked hideous but I knew that um, and I went ahead and bleached it again. I used this time a smaller volume of developer because I didn't need as much lift. Mainly I just needed to get the remainder orange out of it and go platinum. And then I went to rinse it off, then it just it, it gave up. <laughs> At first I thought that the bleach, sometimes when you over bleach hair, it literally just snaps, it loses its elasticity and when you pull it, the hair just literally snaps in half. And when I first like ran my hand through it and the hair was just coming out, I was like, oh my god, I over bleached it. Which was weird because the first time that I bleached it, the integrity of the hair was still okay. And I knew that in general, Asian hair is very, it can take a lot. So I was really like surprised to see that it was snapping. But then when I actually went and I stretched the hair, it was not breaking. And then I started like rinsing out the bleach and I was as I was like rinsing it out um, the hair just kept coming out and that's when I realized that it was literally just coming apart from lace. I kept doing it obviously I was like oh my god what the hell am I gonna do I don't know why this thing is just releasing I was like should I stop should I not continue washing it but then I was like this thing is still covered in bleach and it still had to be shampooed and toned and it's just coming straight out. I really quickly gave it a blue um, wash. I knew that it was still quite on the orange side so I'm like I'm gonna use a blue shampoo to try to minimize um, the orange pigments in it. So I did that and then I rinsed that out. Or I rinsed half of it out rather because as I was rinsing the shampoo away I was rinsing the hair down, down, the, down the drain. <sighs> this is the hair that came out of my wig. I bleached it, I toned it, and then it just all came out. And this is my wig now. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, this thing is still like probably full of shampoo because I, I, I couldn't wash it anymore. Let's not take into account the color of this wig. I never got to actually properly toning it, so it looks pretty whack. I'm mainly just going to address the fact that this was not excess lace, this was hair. I, ordered, I, I had done videos with this, it was a very very thick head of hair and this is, this is what I'm left with. Yeah, um, uh, I was obviously very um, shocked 
when I when I started seeing that I was very sad and I was ready to freaking burst out crying because this had taken up the majority of my day right I was bleaching and re-bleaching this thing for hours and at the end of the day it just all fell apart I don't know if I should like restart or what I have my notepad I have my little things that it could be um, so hopefully you guys can learn from this. Hopefully I will not be doing these mistakes again because wigs are expensive. Let's see what, where I could have freaked up, right? So let's start with how a wig is made. This is what your wig is gonna typically look like underneath. So this is what all the hair is sewn to. This is what all the hair is individually knotted to or if it's weft, sewn to. I have bleached wig knots before and it's never come apart and then this time it all just came apart from the lace. I still don't know how they truly make wigs, I don't know what knots are used, I don't know how they're tied together, I don't know how the individual hair is adhered to the lace and I really don't know if it could be melted off with bleach. I want to say this again, I've bleached the knots of my wigs many many times which is when you actually bleach the lace to get it lighter. Nothing has ever happened to my wigs before when I did that so I'm really not sure if the bleach is what affected my wig. I can only imagine that bleaching it twice did not help it. I don't know if that is what caused the hair to fall out but I'm assuming that that might have had something to do with it. Second stupid stupid thing that I did which I should have known I should have known because it is written on literally every wig box. It is not meant to use hot water when you wash the wigs. Hot water tangles up the hair. It doesn't help it. You don't need hot water to wash wigs. Hot water, usually you use it on your head to help break up the oils. And I was like, it's cold. It's February. I am going to turn on the geezer and wash my wig with it. So whatever you do, please avoid the hot water. What I think really, really did it for my wigs was a combination of these three things. Bleaching on the lace repeatedly, um, using hot water, and then lastly, rubbing it. When you wash a wig, especially synthetic wigs, but even with human haired wigs, you're not washing oils, you're not washing, you know, hair products out of it. You're literally washing just like you'd wash like a shirt or, or, or your couch or whatever. You're literally just washing dust, any sort of stuff like that from it. So what you're meant to do is use cold water, wig shampoo and conditioner, and then just simply dunk it into the wig as if you're washing a t-shirt. Even though not rubbing, nothing like that, you're simply just dunking, maybe letting it soak and just, you know, that's it. That's how you wash a wig. Because obviously it was very thick with bleach and then I still had to shampoo it and condition it. I, I rubbed a lot. Now keep in mind, as I said, uh, while I have never bleached hair before, I have dyed it before. Previously, I have rubbed my wig before when washing it, you know, giving it a full-on hairdresser like <laughs> treatment and nothing happened. In this case, I think it was a collection of many, many small things building up to this. When I did start to wash, especially the lace area, I, that's when I noticed and was just slowly peeling away. I was sad. I was very sad when I noticed that my beautiful wig that I had bleached for like seven hours and then coming off. I had lace in one hand and hair on the other. This is how my wig looks today. I can't really wear this, let's just say that. It's also still full of shampoo. Blue shampoo. Oh, it's so sad. Look. It's just full of bald patches. Look at it. Oh, the point of this video was hopefully that you guys can learn from my idiocy to buy a wig and then you do like something like this and all of it falls out. That sounds heartbreaking. I can't say I'm proud of myself. I, I, I can only say the next time I definitely will look into things a bit more and actually like read the how to how to things on everything. Also, I get this question a lot. If you are someone who wears your wigs regularly, like every day, wash your wigs every four to six weeks. If you're someone who uses it infrequently, I mean, once a year, maybe. Again, cold water, shampoo correctly, let it air dry, do not heat dry it. But yeah, that was the entire video. I really am sorry by my stupidity. Anyway. See, this was all meant to be hair.
Anyways, I hope you kind of enjoyed this video. I hope you will definitely not give it a go. And I will hopefully see you, still see you in my next video. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye.